We have packed everything and we are headed to Walt Whitman Middle School for the STEM Fest. STEM Fest was my idea a couple years ago where we went to a Title I elementary school to inspire these students and bring new opportunities and resources in the science and engineering fields that they hadn't seen before and that other students usually have access to but they don't. We have uh, already registered 170 students thus far and we are expecting at, uh, to reach 400 elementary student kids and approximately 200 to 300 middle schoolers coming in. STEM Fest started in 2018 and due to COVID we could not continue it for two years. STEM is like science, technology, and then engineering and maths. And now we have also incorporated A in it, which is STEAM. So it's like, it's arts incorporated, like 3D printing, and how to, you know, design visual basics and all that stuff. My station is about the lava lamps. Here is one, for example. We use oil and water, alka seltzer, and then we add in our food dye to make it more colorful and exciting. And the most exciting part is when we add the Alka-Seltzer. We're going to see the blue water bubbles rise up into the oil. This is just showing them the reaction that can be made from oils and waters and Alka-Seltzer, like what um, Alka-Seltzer contains in it to make this reaction. And it's just showing them like different liquids and their density. Okay, so fly. Like this? Yeah, there you go. You got it. So fold it like this. Can I try and fly it? Of course. I've never been to one of these before, so I'm just excited to learn new things and do experiments. My favorite part would be the lava lamp so far, because I've never had a lava lamp before, um, and it's really interesting. So my younger son, Akul, he wanted to understand if we can take it out to the community and not have kids come to these STEM fests because not every kid is privileged enough to travel that far or to spend that kind of ticket to go to a STEM fest. So we said, okay, let's see if we can do it with friends, with volunteers, collaborations, with partnerships. So we reached out to Fairfax County Partnership. It's called Ignite Partnership. We went through the process and we got our partnership approved in August 2022. So the idea is to empower these students, let them take the lead and engage them early on. So igniting the passion of STEM and not the fear. So the age range for the students, uh, it is geared towards K through eight, which is kindergarten through middle schoolers. And it is usually run by high schoolers. And then we have parent volunteers. And then we have mad scientists here. They are performing experiments with balloons and all the fun stuff. Sophia is your sister? We're going to make this joke. Ready? <laughs> Clap for Sophia's sister. So it's only red and blue, but we're going to get green, okay? Yeah, so it's going to become green, okay? Okay, what's happening over here? Do you see some raisins dancing? When I was younger, I thought like chemicals are like unsafe and you know, those kind of things. This has like carbonated water, right? Aerated water, like soda. But you can realize that you can just use, you know, your ordinary house vinegar and you can use some sodium bicarbonate, which is just, you know, soda. And you can just have a little experiment with household items. And it's really good for kids to know that, you know, you can do it at home. You don't need to be in a science lab to do it and it really gets them excited and motivated to learn instead of just, you know, reading books all day and kind of doing homework. Have you ever mixed like honey and water or like yeah, corn syrup and water? I have. What happens when you mix them? It's a really good environment to kind of learn these things and understand the chemistry behind it. Uh, the potatoes actually ha are actually like a natural battery. Like the potatoes give off this uh, like energy charge which can actually power clocks, lights, and all that. We're from the TJ Rocketry Club, and so we're here teaching kids about the basics of rocketry flight and like engineering. 
So we're covering, our club participates in three competitions, and we're just explaining what we do um, in the American Rocketry Challenge, the student launch, the NASA Student Launch Initiative, and the Battle of the Rockets. Check all our parts, right? My name is uh, Aaron Conley, and I am a partner and program director with Minority Tech Foundation. Every time we participate in one of these things, we're just really, really amazed. So today, part of our program was the, uh, the students got an opportunity to build drones. So they were actually able to install rotors, install propellers. But what we're seeing here is at a very young age, these concepts are absorbed by uh, our youth. Ah. They can help them uh, uh, stimulate the brain and help in supporting the school as well because they can ask more questions, they can be building more, and maybe one day they become a, a big science. Like I said, when it's, when you're They're building DNA bracelets so they know how the gene pool works. If your dad is like this and your mom is like this, then what happens, you know? So they are doing 3D printing hypothesis and takes their playing with static electricity. What is static electricity? Starting fourth grade, she's asking a lot of questions, and I think, you know, that's why we brought her out here, so she can check out all these other uh, activities, you know, uh, so she can learn more. The earlier you can reach kids, the better. There are some parts of Fairfax County that are able to provide like an economic advantage. And so it is helpful for, to reach those who have those bright ideas, who have that mindset, but doesn't have the opportunity. So you do need more funding from the county to reach these schools and to reach these areas that do not have that economic ability to fund their own science programs. They can listen to a lecture, they can, they can read a book, but at, at some point, like even I fall asleep reading a book sometimes. Um, so engagement, engagement is the way to go, hands on. And I think that's what the whole point of STEMology is. I like STEM, it's fun to do. I do it at least every day. So I do, I do math. Why is that happening? I really don't know. So I think it's really fun and interesting how everything happens and how it works. This event so far has been a success and we've seen like a big enough crowd that our STEMology, our word has gotten out to the underrepresented community in this area. So it's been really good um, that we could reach out to them. I've never been to one of these. I like it actually.